Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wizard's Chest. I am Kyle and today it's time for the weekly toy haul. But first, let's go ahead and talk about what I did over the week. Uh, there was the annual Retro Palooza in Arlington, Texas. I did not make it. It was $20 and to be honest, I kind of got soured on the Swag Expo, Galactic Swag Expo a few weeks ago in Fort Worth. Uh, I talked about that in one of my videos, but essentially it was way too much. They had too few toys and vendors set up. I know it was the first one that they had, but it was really a bummer. Uh, so I had heard about Retro Palooza for the past few years, but I'd never been. Uh, Pixel Dan, who was one of my favorite and the first YouTuber that I subscribed to, uh, so I was pretty excited to meet him, but I just didn't want to make the drive down to Arlington and then spend another 20 bucks to get in. Uh, who knows how much it was for parking and then the, the chance that it would kind of be the same thing as, as the Fort Worth show. But anyway, if you did go, I hope you had a fun time. And if it's worth going and checking out, let me know in the comments below. I'd be very interested to find that out. Um, are you sneezing, Ruffles? Ruffles, what are you doing? Ruffles is sneezing like crazy today. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this week's toy haul. The first thing that I picked up, of course, being a Star Wars fan, I got Solo on Blu-ray. Uh, the first time that I put it in, I don't know if I just wasn't feeling it, but I fell asleep in the first 10 minutes. It kind of is slow, the first maybe the first two acts of the movie, but then uh, once they get to the Kessel Run, it actually picks up. Uh, from then on, it felt like a Star Wars movie, but before then, it was just kind of like, eh, I don't know about this. Uh, so, it's a Star Wars movie. I'm going to get it. I'm glad I got it. Uh, next thing, I did pick up two of those build a skeleton. I got the T-Rex and the Woolly Mammoth. There are six out there to collect. They're only five bucks, and they look like they have some really nice sculpt and detail on these, so I'm excited to have these, especially seeing how a lot of those blind bag mystery minis and stuff like that, they're like six bucks anyway. So for five bucks, very happy to have these, obviously. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so weird. I know it. And then I went over to Box Lunch because there is a super fox that works over there. She's like one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, I picked up the Toy Story uh, Grand Oak Toy Story Land, looks like they're coming out with. That's pretty cool. But this is the Army Man. So the only two that I am missing are Rex and Ham. And then I will have my complete Pop Toy Story line. But this one has a really nice paint job. It looks pretty cool, so glad to have it, per usual. Also, I went to Dallas Vintage Toys, as usual, and I went ahead and grabbed Snout Sprout from Masters of the Universe. Heroic Water Blasting Firefighter. Looks really cool. Love the colors. Uh, love the box art on these. And it will be going on my door because I got some of those uh, Rubbermaid hooks that you have uh, with the little sticky tack tabs that they give you. And they've been holding up really well and it freed up a lot of space. I don't know if you can tell, but behind me also I went ahead and rearranged my shelves and moved all the X-Men together, all the Star Wars together. Before I had them mixed up because I kind of wanted uh, people's eye to be led around whenever they come in so they're not, oh, I'm a Star Wars fan, I'm only going to look at the Star Wars, or I'm only going to look at the Marvel. You get you get what I'm saying. Uh, but when I did that, I didn't realize how much space that I would, uh, I would have from this, so I'm super excited because, <laughs> of course, once there's that free space, you got to fill it up, so more toys are coming. Uh... I bounced around to several Walgreens and finally found Mr. Fantastic for some reason in my area. Uh, I could not find him for the longest time, so very happy to have him. And while I'm on the subject, I picked up the thing, Marvel's thing. He looks really good, super heavy, looks like good articulation. He comes with four sets of hands, two faces for 20 bucks. Hell yeah. So, I finally have all of the first family together at last. Uh, what next? Let's go through some of the big ones. 
I went to the uh, Lost Toys Toy Swap. It is a monthly free swap meet at the Lost Toys in Dallas, Texas. They're off Empire Central and 35. If you've never been, I really suggest you go because they have great vendors that show up, really good prices. Um, the, the Lost Toys store itself is awesome. They always have good stuff there. I got this from Brian. Thank you, Brian. 50 bucks. It came in this box undamaged. No bends, cracks, cuts, anything. It looks amazing. I haven't opened it yet, so I need to find a... Well, with the space I got now, I could probably put my, my ships and stuff up because they take up so much room. But that one comes with the flight stand, so it'll, it'll be good. Uh, let's see. The next big one, at least big package, I got Marvel's Beast X-Men. I was on the fence about this guy for a while just because the beast that I have, the, the Marvel Legends, um, original Marvel Legends beast, I think is perfect. Uh, they just need to remake that with a few tweaks, better articulation with the joints and stuff. But other than that, I love that figure. Um, but this one looks pretty good too. So, very happy to have him. He comes with a uh, display base, multiple sets of hands, and he was only 25 bucks. I got him from Madness Games and Comics. So. Hit up your local comic book shop and they should have them there. So I also picked up at Dallas Vintage Toys the 2012 San Diego Comic Con exclusive The Hobbit An Unexpected Journey. Uh, this is uh, number. Where'd it go? This is number 2085 out of 3100. So they only made 3100 of these. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. Nice display. And you got the translucent plastic of Bilbo there. So it looks pretty good. And it was only $10, so hell yeah. I went with my roommate this weekend to uh, Ross and a couple other places. And every now and then Ross has some really, really good deals on stuff. So I found this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got Mikey here. And uh, this is the obviously the Mega Bloks line that I've been collecting. He comes with a pizza parlor diorama. And he also comes with this action feature, which you can uh, string him up like the old school Batman figure, and he zips up. So that's pretty cool. Moving right along, I also found the Samurai Leonardo, uh, and he comes with a couple of Mausers and another display base. So I'll be hooking those up together, but it looks pretty cool. So as you know, I am a huge fan of the uh, 92 Toy Biz line from X-Men, and I found the Uncanny X-Men 3rd edition of Cable. I got the first and second, so I was finally glad to uh, have the third. The card is bent just a little, but I think by hanging it... <laughs> but I think by hanging it up on a thumbtack, it'll straighten itself out in no time. Ruffles, do you have anything to add so far? All right, good talk. Then I got the awesome Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson figure for 60 bucks at Dallas Vintage Toys. Um, soon, woo, excuse me. As soon as I saw this guy, I knew I had to have it. I have all, well, let's see. No, that's not true. I have all but three Storm Collectibles figures. Uh, there's a few out there that I don't have, but Anytime I've bought one, I have never been disappointed. So this is definitely going to make a nice addition to my boxing collection. I'm ready for Creed 2 to come out. Have y'all seen the trailer for that? It looks really good. There's a uh, quick shot that Creed's son, uh, what's his name? Michael B. Jordan plays the character in the movie. But he fights the son of Drago. Oh, it looks so good. If you've never seen the Rocky movies, go and watch them. They, they really get you fired up. Um, and then I got another X-Men, Shapeshifters. So this line always cracks me up. Uh, the Punisher Shapeshifter is the notorious Shapeshifter that actually has a gun where his member should be. So he has a rocket firing penis. <laughs> And uh, that kind of turned me on to the X-Men shapeshifters. There's also Wolverine and Morph that come in this. Uh, but this looks pretty cool. I'll Later on this week, hopefully, I will get to do a review on this and show you guys. So be sure to watch out for that. 
three more things in the wizard's chest. Very excited to have this new, very big Crash Bandicoot with the jet board. Uh, looks like they're also going to be coming out with a scuba gear Crash Bandicoot, the jet pack, and of course they already have the standard out. But I'm ready for them to make some Neo Cortex and uh, Crash Bandicoot's sister. I can't remember her name right now. Penny or something like that, I want to say. Uh, but anyways, this looks really cool. It was only $35, and it's from NECA, so you know it's going to be good. But yeah, Crash Bandicoot! And let's finish it off with some more Star Wars. I went to Walgreens again and found General Veers. Anytime I see this guy, I automatically think of Indiana Jones because he was the bad guy that got Indiana Jones to go and look for the Holy Grail. Last Crusade, he's in it. Every time I see him, even though Star Wars came out before that movie, I still think of uh, Indiana Jones. So that's pretty cool. Moving right along, we got Princess Leia in her Bespin escape suit. This is probably the best Carrie Fisher likeness that I have ever seen. Um, except for Hot Toys. Those, those have it down pat. Uh, but for a six inch figure, this is where it's at. This looks great. I like the detail on the suit. The one thing that I know I'm gonna complain about is that she has those serial numbers and markings on the inner thigh. Uh, why they didn't put it behind her, I don't know. So I'm definitely gonna have to sand that off and then repaint that area. But other than that, this figure looks great. Whew. That was a lot. It was a good week. <laughs> um, let me know if you guys picked up anything. Let me know, hit me up on Facebook. I am Kyle Snorlax on Facebook. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram at, I believe, Kyle Snorlax as well, at Kyle Snorlax. Uh, other than that, I hope everybody had a really great week. I know mine's starting out nice. I got off work early. I'm here doing the haul video for you guys, so I'll get this out around 6 o'clock. I don't know why I'm telling you that, because you're just now watching it. Other than that, I'm going to clean up uh, my room and start uh, figuring out where to put all these toys. <laughs> so, thanks for stopping by, guys. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button if you would. Turn on the notifications and share with your friends so I can get some more subscribers. It is growing slowly but surely, and I really appreciate everybody who watches my videos. It means a lot to me. This is, this is part of the reason why I do it. The main part is because I wanted to spend more time with my figures share them with uh, with other collectors and people who have a passion for this stuff. Uh, I also thought about doing a video where I kind of talk about why I collect in the first place, what got me into it, uh, where I see it going, that kind of thing. But other than that, that's it for this week. So everybody have a good one, and I will be sure to post some more reviews and mystery madness throughout the week. Everybody have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, good one, Merlin. Oh, hello there. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe today. It's free. <laughs>